Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you... Hmm. Who's at the door? Oh yeah, it's my neighbor. It's Thursday and we have, uh, we have that uh, book club. Yeah, sorry guys, we, we gather together, me and my neighbors, and we read books every Thursday. Okay, I will do video after that. See ya! Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you yesterday's game from the fifth round of Superbet Chess Classic between Alireza and Dinkley Ren. Let's jump quickly into the game. Alireza was white, right. he started with e4, Dink replied with e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5, knight f6. This is so-called Berlin defense. Now Alireza opted for anti-Berlin variation with d3, bishop c5, c3, castle, castle, d5. Quite aggressive move by Dink, trying to break the center. Alireza opted for knight b to d2. Here also possible is just to take this pawn. And now uh, Dink took on e4, d e4, a5. Nice move. It prevents b4 and chase away this bishop on uh, c5. Queen is to c2 was played. Queen e7, a4, and now interesting move. Knight b8. Also, Kramnik tried. Uh, this once against Carlsen and now h3 move we prevent knight jump on uh, g4 also bishop cannot go to g4 so very useful move and uh, notice this rook to e1 rook d8 h3 was played between Nepo and Dink in world championship match but again we like this position with h3 rook d8 bishop e2 Knight b to d7, rook e1, knight f8, knight to b3. Now we attack this bishop on c5, bishop b6, knight f to d2. The plan is to go with on knight uh, with knight to c4 and attack this bishop on e6, bishop e6, knight c4. And now this pawn is under big danger on a5, so we have to take it not only the pawn but also the bishop here and after white takes white has strong bishop pair knight e6 g3 we have to prevent knight jumps on f4 and here novelty h5 in previous game h6 was played king g2 rook d7 Knight to d2. This was game Anand Vidit from 2019. But in this position, uh, Dink played move h5, and Alireza said that he didn't like that much. King to g2. Yes, in this position, we can also play h4, but this, this is not that good because of knight to g4. Now, here is huge pressure on f2. And if you play rook to f1, very logical, queen to f6. And we have strong pressure here on f2. And black is better, if not winning. Uh, h4. Now, uh, Alireza men mentioned in his post-match interview that knight to c5 is also quite a good move. But h4 was played by Ding. Queen to e2 g6 and alireza again said that this was a terrible move now alireza found a very good move or knight to d2 notice that also instead of g6 better would be just to play rook d7 and after knight d2 knight c5 knight f3 we take the pawn on e4 we take on h4 and bishop takes here and actually black is better Notice this route of the knight, it, is, it will also happen um, in the game, not in this line after rook to d7. So yes, knight to d2 was played by Al Alireza, and knight c5, knight f3, and 
h takes g3. If we take this pawn here on e4, now we can play g4. And this pawn on h4 is under attack. So f takes g3, we take on e4. And here Aliereza didn't find the best move because he played knight to g5. Quite logical, but actually in this position there is actually a very spectacular move which is very hard to spot and understand but yeah sorry but knight bishop to a2 is, is amazing move and why bishop to e2 this prophylactic move uh, stops knight e to d6 and bishop wouldn't be under attack let's see if now king g7 we can play knight g5 and if knight to d6 we can take here on e5 and notice in this position that happened in the game after we play knight g5 knight d6 now we cannot take here on e5 because our bishop hangs yes first queen takes and now sorry rook takes and now we hang this bishop on c4 so that was the reason bishop to a2 in previous position was very nice so after knight to d6 in original position Alireza now played bishop to a2, but is a little bit too late. Rook e8, and here h4, an accuracy by Al Alireza. Better would be just to play bishop to f4, knight h5. Now we take on e5, and queen d7, queen d5, knight takes f4, gf4, king to g7. And this position actually is still better for uh for black but this h4 was even worse move because now after knight to sorry king to g7 rook f1 rook a to d8 bishop d2 e4 very strong move by dink um so this pawn is marching down the e file and it's very annoying for white's position and very dangerous Bishop to f4, Alireza goes all in. He wants to create some um, sharpness, uh, sharpnessness to position. e3, rook a to d1, knight f to e4. But this was a mistake. Better would be just to play this knight here. And why this knight? Because we open this rook. And let's see some of the lines. Here we have two possibilities either to take with the knight on f7 or with the bishop let's first explore the knight takes because this is the best move but now there's very nice move we have to take rook on d1 now we take the rook knight f2 rook e1 queen e4 check queen f3 knight d3 rook e2 knight takes f4 gf4 knight h5 that would be very good for uh, black and because this pawn is gone and black is winning in this position also notice that uh dinkley ran after the game um said to uh, ali reza that he uh that he wanted to play this rook to d2 if that line uh, would happen and that he was winning here but actually uh if we take knight takes bishop ch bishop h6 king h7 rook f4 if he plays here knight to h5 this is actually a mistake because we play knight to g5 uh, check king takes and now rook to f7 and white is actually winning so it wasn't the best uh way to play rook to d2 here also possible is to take with the bishop. But now rook takes d1, rook takes, knight g5. We take uh, the rook there, but now queen e4 and black is winning in this position. So very interesting lines. And after e3, rook d1, as we saw, after this knight f to e4, uh, Alireza rightly took the knight on d6. This was the best move. 
um, knight takes, bishop takes f7, knight takes, rook takes, queen takes, knight takes, and yes, uh, black is down a queen, but th still this pawn is very strong. Now he took on d1, uh, queen takes, and king takes f7. Here it's very nice line. If he plays, if Ding plays e2, he would play that. Then queen d7. Okay, now we promote, but not, not, but not so fast. Knight e5 is again called shower for Ding. Where uh, king can go, let's say if he goes here, then actually this is checkmate in one, knight g4. So if he goes on h6, now we take, uh, we do the check on g4, king h5, queen h7, king takes, and nice mate on g6. So this wasn't possible, this e2 move. So he took the knight, queen e2, we have to block this pawn, and now big blunder by Dink. He should have played king to g7 and uh, protect this pawn, but he went on the wrong side, on e7. And that was, that was huge mistake, because now this pawn on g6 is very weak. King f1, nice. So we will release the queen and put the king on e2 in some lines. Rook f8, king e1, rook f2. Now queen is free, and because now uh, king guards promotion. So that's why king to f1 was very good move. King f6, queen g5, king f7. In, hi in his post-match interview, Ali Reza said that this was uh, quite easy for him, this endgame. So he found, found all the right moves, queen d5, king f6, again, good move, g4. Also, these pawns are marching, and also we are creating uh, mating nets for black. Rook takes b2 g5 check, king e7, queen e5, king d7, queen g7 check, king d6, we take the pawn on g6, king e5, queen e8, king f4, g6, rook b1, king e2, rook b2, king d3, rook d2, king c4, finally we escape on c4, king is now safe, Rook g2, queen f7, check, and after this move, uh, black resigned. Let's see why. If we go here, now a rook is lost. What options do we have? Okay, let's see if he goes, if we go um, here. Uh, yeah, sorry, we can't go here. If you, we go, um, sorry, I think was this position, right? Queen f7. Um, if he, we go here, then g7 and g7 and promote, and again it is a game over. So actually, black doesn't have any good solutions. Great win again by Ali Reza. He's a really top top player, according to, to Carlson, the most talented young player right now. And yeah, his game proves that. So guys, thanks for watching. As always, uh, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye!